Webhooks, 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 Kjabi, Webhooks, Zapier, what's that? Hello everyone, I'm Adria from KajabiExperts.com and this is another video to explain you something. In this time, in this case, we're gonna talk about webhooks. Because, yeah, this is a strange word for those of you who are non-tech people and uh, you don't know what is it. And a lot of people has been asking, what is a webhook? Webhooks, webhooks, webhooks. I mean, I explained it a lot of times and people still keeps asking what is a webhook and what is what does a webhook has to do inside Kajabi. So I thought it was a great time to create a video explaining exactly what are the webhooks. So just I'm going to try to explain it in a way that it's easy for you to understand, easy for non-tech people to understand. And let's see if, if, if you understand it that way. So we have several applications in the online world. Kajabi is one application. We have other applications. We can have, for example, email marketing applications like we have ConvertKit, we have Infusionsoft, we have Aweber, but we can have other kind of applications. For example, payment processor applications like we can have Stripe, PayPal, or other different payment. We can also have we can also have different applications that has nothing to do with email marketing or with payment. We can have, for example, an application that manages our contacts or we can have an application that I don't know for example registers uh, our stock of our products in our warehouse so in the internet there are millions of applications but then we have a problem so if we want our applications to talk between each other for example when a product is sold somewhere the stock from my warehouse is discounted or when a user is make uh, a payment somewhere in PayPal, for example, I want in my application or in a different application, for example, I don't know, in Shopify, I want to grant access to this person to my product. So applications need to talk between each other. They need to uh, pass some information. They need to gather some data and transfer the data between the different applications. How is that possible to be done? Well, uh, there is some technology involved behind and uh, there are some, uh, I'm, I'm just mentioning that just so, so it doesn't sound for you like Chinese. Okay, so there is a API calls, REST calls and blah, 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 some more other stuff that is happening. But uh, what, what, what is most important and here is where the webhooks are come, uh, is when something happens, for example, a payment is done successfully, a call is done to another application. This is a webhook. So basically you say in, let's, let's use the Kajabi example. So in Kajabi you say when, for example, a sale is made or when a form is submitted. So when someone submits a form, uh, I want to send a call to this other application. This is a webhook. So I want to say, I want to save the contact, the form information into this other application. This is a webhook. Basically, it's a URL from the other application that will receive that data. So when a form is submitted, Kajabi will send that data to the URL we set up as a webhook. And that URL from the other application will receive that data. It's up to the other application to understand that data because each application talks a different language. It's almost impossible to find two applications that speaks the same that, that speaks the same language. So one sends the, the the data in one format, but the other application expects the data in a different format. This is from the webhook part. The webhook is when where we want to submit this data when something happens. This applies to Kajabi, but this also applies to millions of other applications in the online world. This is about webhooks. Now the Zapier. What is Zapier and why uh, Kajabi recommends to use Zapier for webhooks? Well, 
when two applications are talking, as I just said, when uh, something happens here and something else needs to be done in the other side, as I said, the applications speak different languages. So one application sends the data in one format, but the other application expects the data in a different format. So there should be something in the middle that translates this data. You can write your own code, so you can be the man in the middle that gets the data from Kajabi and translate it to the other service, or you can use other services that do that, do that, that, does, that, do that for you. One of the examples is Zapier. Zapier is exactly that. It's a man in the middle who will catch your Kajabi data, will translate it, and we tra we translate it to the language of the other application. So basically, from Kajabi, you will set up a webhook to Zapier. And Zapier will get this data, will understand this data, and will transmit to the other application that you want. So it will basically act as a man in the middle who will translate the data. There are other applications out there in the market that does that. Or you can even write your own if you know how to code. But probably if you know how to code, you will not be watch, you will not be seeing this video because you you are you already know what it's a webhook. So if you know how to code, you can be your own man in the middle and be doing those translations. So I hope now it's clear. We have webhooks and we have the man in the middle or Zapier. And, web, and a webhook, again, is not something from Kajabi. It's a global term used in many, many, many applications on the internet. So that's it. I hope it was clear. If you have any questions, as always, just write a comment below or contact me via kajabiexperts.com or via email. I don't know. You already know how to contact me. And uh, what I say always, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the thumbs up button, and that's it. Let's see the next video.